DangerousTrailers.org and StolenTrailers.org presents another trailer stolen from a youth group. Now, in Virginia, every delegate, like Delegate O'Bannon, Delegate Lopassi, and running for office, potentially, Eddie Whitlock, they all laughed at me. They all ignored our cause. Every one of these people and politicians, from Governor Tim Kaine, Governor Bob McDonald, Governor, I'm sorry, State Senator Mark Warner, Delegate Pollard, Congressman Cantor, has ignored our concerns about stolen trailers and dangerous trailers. So, we have 12 states in the country, folks. There is no registration for trailers in 12 states. $1.2 billion of stolen trailers and property. And here's my quote. Trailers are the most often being stolen on wheels and the least often found. Also last month, Google this, Dawson City Police Chief indicted in Google. We got a police chief stealing trailers and issuing new VIN numbers. So let's go ahead and expand this. Yes. Families in Detroit. Now reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson shows you why their popular youth sports programs are in jeopardy. Max Sports had parked that trailer right here because they were doing some renovations on their own lot just two doors down. But Monday morning they woke up to find that trailer with all of that equipment for the kids was gone. Only these tracks were left behind. This is the 8 foot by 12 foot trailer that enables Mac Development to operate Mac Sports and serve around 300 Detroit kids every year. 150 of them participate in the soccer program, which has become so popular, it's launched other sports and even life services programs. Sports create this like unique opportunity to build relationships, um, uh, build values. Sports are, are a cool way to get, not only get to know the kids, which, which we ultimately want to do, um, but also get to know the families. For the nonprofit, this fall soccer season was a success. It ended about a week ago. Then Sunday night or early Monday morning, this large trailer filled with all of their soccer equipment, including uniforms and soccer balls, was stolen from its parking spot. We have uh, cleats, goals, um, all of our uh, shin guards, our actual grill that we, we actually grill on Saturdays to be able to uh, serve hot dogs and different things. Without the trailer and all the equipment inside, Mac isn't sure how they'll be able to offer soccer once again to those 150 local kids in the spring. And in January, their basketball program is scheduled to start, but as of now, they've got no way to transport the needed equipment now that the trailer is gone. Just because it's something that, that's really crucial to our sports program um, of, ha of being able to have that back. So if you see it, please let us know. Um, if we aren't able to locate it, then we're going to have to figure out what next steps are going to be, uh, whether it's getting another trailer or finding out how can we continue to make these programs happen. People in the neighborhood have their eyes out for this trailer. If you have any information about it, please contact police or MAC. They do so much good work in the community, work they want to continue to, to donate and help replace some of that stolen equipment. We'll put that information on our website. Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News.